Hey, why doesn't anyone want to play Kumite with me? With all due respect, I think it's a bit harsh to ask an ordinary person to fight against a gorilla. What do you mean a gorilla? It means that the strength of you has already exceeded that of the people we have gathered here. Then it can be me alone versus all of you. I'm afraid that would still be no match for you. I just want to fight! I want to fight, 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 fight! Well, how about trying a real battle? It is problematic for the daughter of this family to go around selling fights, but if it is self-defense, there won't be any problem. That's it! I should get someone to fight with me. As you can imagine, I am in my position. But I can't condone your dressing up like a delinquent. I see. So, if I pretend to be a nerd and catch a delinquent, I'm allowed to beat him up in self-defense. There is also a term called excessive defense. Well, our family lawyers are excellent. We'll get right on it. Do a more thorough investigation of that nerd business. Understood. Thus, I, Ayana Koji, decided to transfer to a high school that is rumored to be full of delinquents. Of course, hiding my true identity. Nice. Very nice school. Many people in this class look like they are trying to be as bad as possible. <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't. I gotta stop smirking. Now I have to perfectly act like a nerd and stimulate their fighting spirit. Oh, I'm Muto. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Yeah, what a picture-perfect nerd. Lucky me. All my luck is coming my way. With him, I can use him as an example of how to behave as a nerd. Plus, I can use him to attract bad people. To protect my friend is a great reason. Okay. I should think about getting along with him first. Um, Muto, if you don't mind, could you show me around the school? Oh, I see. You just transferred to this school, right? Okay. Sorry, thanks. Well, to be honest, I'm relieved to have someone like Muto next to me. There are a lot of people who seem kind of scary. Ah, well, our school is not very flattering place to be, so it's not very safe. Okay, okay. That's what we're here for. So we don't want them to be all nice people. Well, as long as you stay away from some of the dangerous areas, I don't think you'll get into any trouble. Are these dangerous areas? That's it! Tell me about that area. I want to wander around so much and get into fights. Yes. I stay away from the back of the gymnasium. The second athletic club building, and the restrooms on the third floor of the West Wing because they are hangout areas for those scary kids. That's scary. Okay, I'll go there after school. I was able to dive into the best environment in the best way possible. That's what I honestly thought at this point. I'm not getting attacked! There hasn't even been a sign of a battle in the past week. Reality doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Why? Why? My nerd acting should be perfect. I spend a good amount of time with Mudo-kun, and I even hang around near dangerous areas. If I may say, your aura of strength oozes out and cannot be hidden. What? Are you saying my acting is bad? No. I have heard that a reasonably strong person can sense the strength of an opponent by intuition, or Perhaps they instinctively sense the strength of yours and are very wary of you. What am I supposed to do about that? At this point, why don't you broaden your target? A neighborhood of a rough school is not a safe neighborhood. You might also consider criminals and hoodlums outside the school. Well, maybe. Hmm. Spread the rumor around the school neighborhood. A young lady from a good family is attending that school unprotected. And without an escort. Yes, okay. Except the burden of us having to set up a security system in case of emergency. It would be an excellent idea. You have a lot to say. Ayana Koji, you dropped your wallet. Is thick. Oh, I'm sorry. I was careless. I know it's none of my business, 
but you shouldn't bring too much money with you. Some people might get upset if they see the money. Thank you for your concern. That's the purpose. And by the way, this guy is really good. Since such a man is able to have a normal life, maybe the school is not as rough as it seems. In any case, the operation is already in the next phase. Now, you delinquents who are blinded by this money, come at me quickly! Ayana Koji, where did she go? I wonder if she's gone home already. She disappears from sight every now and then. Oh, by the way, do you know Mr. Waruo? Is that Mr. Waruo, who is an alumnus of this school and has a lot of bad stories about him? Yeah, I heard that Mr. has some kind of big money-making plan and is gathering people. Really? Are you going to go along with that? No, I'll pass. Kidnapping girls from our school, no matter how rich he is, it's too dangerous. What? Is he gathering people and openly talking about such a crime? Yeah. It's too public to get on board. Shouldn't we tell the police? If it's before the crime is committed, I'm sure he can get away with it as much as we want, and I don't want him to say we tipped off the police afterwards. Ah, oh, sure. Kidnapping rich girls. That's Ayano Koji-san no matter how you think about it. This is indeed not good. This is... How did it go? Very well. Some of the people we send out the information to have a bite, and they're gathering people to kidnap you. How many people are gathering now? According to the report, about 30 people. 30 to 1. That's good. Even if it's a small group, 30 can be a main dish. I still think I should hold out until I get to the hideout. It would be a waste if I messed up on the way and miss the majority of the main base. I'm sorry to interrupt your happy fantasy, but we have received word of an emergency. What a timing! Someone has broken into the hideout of the criminals. Isn't this the 31st or something? But it seems that there's a situation that's causing a stir. What? What is that? Someone is trying to steal my fun! I don't know the details, but that may be the result. You've got to be kidding! You should head over there right now! Yes. There's not as many people as I thought there would be. I think a rich person would have at least a bodyguard. Though I'd like to have more people. Especially, none of them came from my school. Well, there is a strange rumor about your school, isn't there? Rumor? Well, there is a very strong guy who is not a delinquent. And he has beaten up all the students. And they have become quiet. Really? If I get the money, I'll beat him up for the sake of my school. Very good. Love for the school indeed. Right? I'm really attached to my school. Sorry to interrupt the excitement, but is this the meeting place of the bad guys who are planning to kidnap? Oh, who the hell are you? This is no place for honor students. Looks like this is the place. Either you stop doing bad things and break up, or I'll beat you up and you'll have to quit. Whichever you prefer, you trash. Are you the one of the strange rumors, you? Hey, I know the order is reversed, but I'm going to beat you up just to cheer you up. Muro-kun, hey, what have you done? Ayana Koji-san, you can't come here. Shut up! What are you doing to the main dish that people have taken the trouble to prepare? What? What on earth are you talking about? I'm telling you to mind your own business. I was going to beat them all up deliciously. What's with this guy? Maybe he is stronger than me? What is this sense of familiarity of Ayano Koji-san? The blow is heavy, and this movement is that of a well-trained person. Maybe she's stronger than me. What the hell is wrong with you guys? I want to know. Really? What are you? Aren't, Aren't you, you just, just a, a nerd? nerd? Hey, Muto! Why don't you come over to my house today? My mom and dad both have things to do tonight, and they won't be home. I don't want to. I'm sure you are going to ask me to fight for real, or to partner with me in Komite anyway. Since then, 
Ayano Koji-san has never thought about fighting a real battle with a delinquent or anything weird like that. Instead, she started pestering me to have a serious fight with her. I just want to have a peaceful school life, so why is this happening? Why not? Don't you want to decide who's the best? Nowadays, even fighting game characters don't say that. It's not fair that you got all the delinquents in this school first. What kind of accusation is that? I'll pay you if you fight me. I don't need your money. What? You expect me to pay you with my body? You don't have to pay me in the first place. Then how can you fight me? I said I won't fight. They're doing it again today, those two. The strongest gorillas are getting along well with each other. But does that woman really just want to fight Age-san? I think she has some other reasons. Is that so? Well, nobody's going to approach those two anyway, so anything won't get in the way. That's right. It seems that this school is peaceful today, except for me, who is being followed around by a very strong girl. My childhood friend is in front of my house. She lives next door since kindergarten. Her name is Aoi. Are you okay? Your arm... Oh, I just got back from the hospital and my bone is broken. Oh no, Akira, your college entrance exam is coming up soon. It's nothing. That guy though, he's the worst. I can't believe he hurt you, Akira. That guy that Aoi is referring to is the one who broke my arm. He's Aoi's high school classmate and is, so to speak, a delinquent. He seemed to like Aoi, and he even showed up in front of her house and messed with her. I could see what was going on from my room, and I tried to stop him. Then he got violent, and we ended up in a fight. I fell, and I broke my arm. So, have you heard anything from him? Yes. He said that if I don't agree to become his girlfriend, he'll hurt you again. I guess he found out that I actually like you. <laughs> Owie, you said you liked me? Yes, but never mind. I decided to become his girlfriend. I don't want him to hurt you anymore. Hey, does that mean you're going to become his girlfriend just to protect me? You have an important exam coming up soon. At such an important time, you got hurt because of me. I don't want to cause any more trouble for you, Akira. <laughs> Damn, I'll definitely get you back. Akira, does that mean you like me too? I'll get you back after the exams, I promise. He better be ready for it. Akira? <laughs> Did you really think I'd say that? Uh, huh? You like me so much that you become the girlfriend of a guy you hate just to protect me? It's like a manga plot! Is your brain nothing but crab miso? That's rude! But I'm glad it's a delicacy at least! <laughs> Ow! You're such an airhead. That's why you're being hit on by a guy with a haircut that looks like a deck brush. Yeah, I'm so sorry! Now, just call him up and dump him. What? But then he will... Didn't you listen to what I've just said? I'm telling you, I'm not happy when you do that. If you understand, then call him right now and break up with him. Uh, 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 oh, um, I'm very sorry to say this, but I would like to break up with you. What? You know what will happen to Akira if you do that, don't you? Uh, uh yes. Still, I would like to break up... Right now! Break up with me! Anyway, I told him my feelings. Well, once you've committed to a relationship, you can't go back on it so easily. Oh, um, Akira? What? Um, Akira, you like me too, right? At least, I like you enough that I don't want you to have a relationship with a guy you don't like. How much do you like me? I like you enough to want to have you as my girlfriend, but because of your strange behavior, your stock is currently falling. Did I do something bad? What kind of man would be happy to be protected by the woman he loves? The woman he loves? <sighs> Ow! So, 
So what will you do if he comes back? I'll just tell him to go home because you've become my girlfriend. Will he give up with just that? There's no way I'm giving up. Why are you here? Even if you suddenly tell me to break up with you, I need to hurt that guy so you come back to me. Don't hurt him anymore! That's up to you, isn't it, Owie? Oh, no. Owie's now my girlfriend, so go home. What? Stop showing off. You're just a powerless nerd. Same to you. You're the one who can't go out with Owie without taking a hostage. So don't get cocky. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Uh, but I have nothing else. There's no way she will go out with me if I asked her normally. So stop pretending. You're trying to make her believe that you are a delinquent, then making her realize that you are a nice guy afterwards? That's just so annoying. You've been pretending to be something you're not. But you want her to know who you really are. <sighs> why is everyone's mind filled with manga? You read way too much manga. And that's why you come up with weird tactics. Oh no, it's not manga's fault. Yeah, that's right. Manga always gives us excitement and thrills. I'm just saying, don't bring that excitement and thrill into the real world. By the way, why are you on his side? Because I like you, but I can't stand when you talk bad about manga! How dumb can you be? You're on the same level as that delinquent. Hey, that's mean! But I like your sadistic side. Oh, what does that make me? But you made me upset! I'm not gonna go easy on you until you can't say anything back! Owie, what are you going to do? I'm sorry, but if it's a verbal fight, you can't defeat me. You said it's a verbal fight. In that case, how about this? <laughs> I guess I win this fight. My first kiss. What? Didn't you like me? So what's the problem? That's not romantic at all. You suck. Did you expect it to be like shoujo manga? Enough already. You guys should go out. You're perfect for each other. Damn it! <laughs> what? Did he give up already? Thus, I successfully got Aoi back from the delinquent and became a couple. You really got me back. I was afraid of what would happen at first, but... Thanks, Akira. I'm happy to be your girlfriend, although our relationship started out this way. But please treat me well. Aoi, eraser, now. Yes? Can you erase this? It's hard to use the eraser when you only have one hand. Hey, how can you ruin the mood like that even though you cared before? I'm sorry, but that's put on hold until after the exam. I'm concentrating on my studies. Aw, uh, no way. Actually, I was going to officially confess after the exam. But that delinquent ruined my whole plan. It's hard to write with my left hand. And Aoi is such an idiot! Who could have predicted an ending like this? Life doesn't turn out the way you expect it to. Since we are not in a manga. <sighs> You're actually in a manga! The stairwell leading to the closed off rooftop of the old school building? That is my lunch spot. The sweet bread that I eat in dilapidated space tastes only of dust. But this is fine. I'm more comfortable here. I'm no good with the buzz of school. The high-pitched exchanges between friends, the rapidly changing topics, it all makes me sick. Well, it might just be jealousy. I'm sure I just hate them for being able to happily enjoy the moment. Well, that's the third one done. I'm getting tired of living off sweet bread. At the moment, I have no parents. My dad wasn't the type to come home, and he left before I could remember. My mom always had a frail body, but she pushed herself to work. By the time I was five, she was often in and out of the hospital. Sorry, Mom. Akira. I worried everybody. Don't worry about that and get better soon. 
Grandma and I supported her together, but her condition never improved. And then, on the day I turned 15... Mom! Was it okay to leave the hospital? It's fine. Today I'm going to make all your favorites. Mom had come home, despite the doctor's objections. My favorite karage, potato salad, and tamagoyaki. I ate, knowing it would probably be the last time. I will never forget the taste. That's what I swore to my mom. It's already been a year. Grandma became ill soon after, and has been in the hospital since. After that, I started to live off cup noodles and sweet bread. Oh, hi! <laughs> Who is that? Were you here yesterday by any chance? Y yeah I was here. So this is yours then? Y yes Uh, this... Would you mind letting me have this? What? I really want the Nikolka cat goods from this campaign, but the deadline is close and I can't eat all that bread. Oh, sure then. If you want, I have two more also. Are you a god? Thanks! I'll definitely pay you back! <laughs> no, you don't need to. Wait, your hands are so thin! Are you eating properly? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. Here, eat! Hey? <laughs> Tamagoyaki? I had been trying so hard to avoid it so I wouldn't forget mom's! <laughs> Eating just sweet bread is bad for you, you know. <laughs> anyway, are you a secret spy for Zakayama Bread? Or maybe a hardcore fan? <laughs> oh, wait! Why are you crying? This... this taste... Oh, was it that bad? That's so weird! I was really proud of my secret recipes for tamagoyaki and potato salad. Uh, oh, potato salad? Uh, I'm sorry, but could I have some of that too? Sh sure, but are you really that hungry? Please! I knew it. It tastes just like mom's. Where did you learn this recipe? What? It tastes just like how my late mother made it. Where did you learn it from? Did... did you know her? <gasps> Could you be... Takanashi akira -kun? <laughs> How did you know? Uh, uh, well, you don't remember? What? It's me! Well, you know... Your childhood friend! I'm Allie! Long time no see! A childhood friend? Did I have one of those? That aside, I had no clue that my mom taught you how to cook. Well, you were really young. It's not surprising that you don't remember. Especially since I moved away in kindergarten. Thanks for the food. It was delicious. Really? Glad to hear it. Thanks for today. You even made a share for me. I never thought I'd be able to taste my mom's cooking again. It makes me really happy. Wait, don't start crying! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. From then after, Aoi-san would make a bento for me every day. For side dishes, she would always include tamagoyaki and potato salad. I couldn't remember a single thing about her, but she smiled and said she forgave me. Grandma, how are you feeling? Let's see. I feel fine, but the doctors are worrywarts, you see. Don't push yourself too much. You have to listen to what the doctors say. More importantly, Akira, you seem to be having fun lately. Did something good happen? Yeah, I actually reconnected with my childhood friend, Aoi. 
We've been having lunch together a lot. Aoi. Oh my. Was there someone named Aoi? You don't remember? We were together until we turned four. I'm sorry. I wonder if I'm getting a bit forgetful. She said that mom taught her how to cook. But cooking at four? Huh? How odd. A friend neither I nor grandma can remember. And a strange backstory about learning to cook at four. Could Aoi-san actually not be my childhood friend? But then, what about mom's cooking? No. Is it because it's not my mom's cooking? Aoi-san, I asked my grandma yesterday, and she said she didn't know you. So who are you really? I'm sorry. This was in a used book I bought from the internet. That's mom's handwriting. When I tried it out, it turned out really good. Since then, I've been cooking using these recipes. I didn't mean to lie to you. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you the truth when you missed your mom so much. I just suddenly lied to you and said I was a childhood friend. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. I knew that kind of lie would be found out. Aoi-san. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Please don't apologize. I... Meeting you has made me the happiest I've been all year. Thank you. For lying for my sake. Mom? I'm sure that Mom is the one who brought us together. Thank you. A few years later. Thanks for the meal! We're having a welcome party at work, so don't worry about my dinner. We get it. You've been saying that all week. That's right! Tonight we're gonna have all my favorites! What do you want for dinner? Karaage! Well then, let's have a karaage party tonight! All right! <laughs> wait a minute! On second thought, I'll be coming home! What? What about the welcome party? Dear Mom, up in heaven, thanks to the flavors and recipes you left behind, I met a wonderful wife who's great at cooking. My daughter's grown up well too, and now is in high school. For bringing us together, I can feel only gratitude. Right now, I am happy.